Hey everyone, it's Claire Rogers from Itopia Coaching. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I want to talk about how we can reprogram our mind from a negative mindset to that of a positive mindset. I'm actually going to break this video down into two parts. So this week I want to talk about where a negative mindset comes from. And then next week I'm going to follow up with another video on how we actually change those behaviors and those thoughts from a negative mindset to that of a positive empowering mindset. So where do our negative thoughts and where does the negative mindset originate? It comes from a multitude of areas. And in this video, I'm going to focus on the four main areas that I believe severely impact our mindset. And those four areas are this. Number one, we focus on the past. Number two, media. Number three, advertising. And number four, negative TV. So now let's talk about each of those areas. So the first one I mentioned was the past. And what that means is quite often a lot of us live in the past. We live in previous experiences. This person did this to me. This person said this to me. This person made me feel bad. This person hurt me. And although that event has happened in the past, quite often what we do is we continuously relive that event and we continuously relive the feeling. And what does that do? It hardwires the negative feeling and the negative emotion in our brain, creating a negative mindset. Now, I am not suggesting that we deny our past. That would be absolutely irresponsible of me to say so. But what I am saying is that we should have a conscious awareness of that reliving the past and how that is impacting our mindset. The other thing that impacts our mindset is the news. If you've been following me for a while now, you'll know I talk about this quite a bit because I am so passionate about people understanding how the news is impacting our mindset in a negative way. How is it impacting us in a negative way? Well, the media influences our thoughts and opinions on what's going on in the world through agenda setting. And the agenda setting is not to make you feel good inside. In my own personal opinion, and I know I'll probably be shot down in flames by this from journalists or various media outlets, I believe media wants to keep us ignorant and scared. How have I come to that conclusion? Well, because if you open up a newspaper or you turn on the news, it's always focused on politicians in a negative way, war, crime, or natural disaster. Think about it. You rarely turn on the news to hear nice, positive news stories. So the media has a huge impact on our mindset. Let me give you a real life example as well. In the early 90s, I lived in Tokyo and I had the first time I went to Tokyo was for three months. So I was in Tokyo, I think it was in 1992. There was no English newspapers, no English uh, media, TV shows or, or news outlets at the time. So I had no access to the outside world. There was no internet back then, no cell phones, no mobile devices. In fact, I was effectively living in a bubble. So I lived in Tokyo for three months, and then I had to go back to Vancouver, Canada, where I'm from, to renew my visa to go back for a further three months. And I remember when I got back home to Vancouver and I turned on the news, I remember thinking, oh, my goodness, Vancouver must be one of the most dangerous places in the world because they were talking about gangs and knife crimes and murders and all sorts of atrocities. The reality is, is that Vancouver was not and is not one of the most dangerous places in the world. But that was my perception because for three months I had not seen any news at all as to what was going on in the world. So that's just a real life example of how the news can impact your mindset. So before I go into the next item, I just want to say one more thing about the news. So if you don't believe me on the impacts of the news on your mindset, then do me a favor. Google a researcher called Sean Anker. He did a study with his wife, I believe it was last year or the year before, on the impact of news on our mindset. And his research came out to say that consuming just three minutes of the news first thing in the morning, you are 27% more likely to report a bad day eight hours later. And that's after only 
three minutes of watching the news. Now imagine what your mindset is like if you consume more news, say in the morning or in the evening. Other thing that impacts our mindset is advertising. Now, how does advertising impact our mindset? Well, the very design of advertising is to make us either feel like we are not good enough or we don't have enough. Just open up any glossy magazine and you'll see ads for anti-wrinkle cream, makeup, skin smoothing cream, hair removal cream, anything to make us look younger. Skinny pills, anything to make us not feel good about who we are now. It's always something to change us. The same with advertising what we don't have. The latest iPhone, the coolest car, the coolest clothes, the latest trends is designed to make us feel not good enough, like we don't have enough. Now, hey, I know I'm not immune to it. If I was immune to it, then I'd be sitting here in my PJs with no makeup. So I get it. But we need to be mindful of the fact that if we are constantly being bombarded with advertising, it is going to impact our mindset in a negative way. Finally, I want to talk about how negative TV, violent TV, reality TV impacts your mindset in a negative way. Just think about it. When you turn on reality TV, very rarely do you ever see everybody getting along like best friends, having a nice afternoon together. No, there's always a fight, some made up problem, some drama. What happens when you watch it? You attach yourself to those emotions and you feel negative yourself. The same with violent TV and crime shows. Now, I don't remember what the latest study is, but I think if I'm not mistaken, by the age of 16, the average teenager would have seen 200,000 acts of violent crime and they would have seen 33,000 murders by watching negative TV. Now, fast forward, if you have watched that throughout your entire life, how do you think that that, that is impacting your mindset? It's impacting it in a negative way. Now, if we look at those four elements, ruminating on the past, watching negative news, being impacted by advertising, and watching negative and violent TV shows, this is what happens we end up hardwiring the negative in our mind and we develop a negative mindset. The negative mindset and the negativity becomes a habit. Now, how do you think you would feel if you could break that habit and change your mindset from negative to that of positivity and empowerment? How do you think you would feel and what do you think you could do and achieve in your life if you could do that? Check in next week and I'm going to create a video on exactly how to do that, how to change your mindset from that of negativity to that of empowerment. As always, I hope you found this video helpful. Please don't hesitate to drop notes or comments below if you've got any questions. Check back in next week and take care.